In this video, we're going to be unboxing one of the best 10 inch pops Funko has ever made. Now, stay tuned to find out what it is. Let's go! How far can we get if we sell a little bit? Hey folks and welcome back to Funko UK guys. So today we are going to be unboxing one of the best 10 inch pops Funko has ever made. Um, well this is not going to be a metallic buzz light yeah unfortunately but it is a pop what has just came out recently and my wife had to get it because she absolutely loved the movie and um, I can't wait for him to unbox it for you folks. Now, of course, it is my own opinion. So if you have got your own opinion and you don't think this is one of the best 10 inch pops they have ever made, please leave a comment below and tell me which one you do think. Um, hopefully it's not gonna be Porg because I don't think Porg is one of the best 10 inch pops they have ever made. But I got this pop today from Double Box Toys itself. I think this one cost about 20, 29 pounds and 50p, including postage was about 35 pounds. Now, I did not buy this. My wife bought it. And the only pop she bought before was the Dobby. So as soon as she saw this, she bought it. Which is, a, which is really a shocker, actually, because she doesn't usually buy Funko Pops. So I'm going to be unboxing this on video today and showing you uh, the pop that my wife bought. So let's crack this open first of all. I need to get out my trusty knife and open up the sellotape shooting and let's crack open this box first of all now if you haven't used double box port both the if you haven't used double box toys before shall we say um i highly recommend using them they are a uk based company i bought a lot of funko pops from them and they're quite exclusive funko pops actually and there's quite a lot of funko pops what you just can't get in the uk and um yeah they buy them from america and places like that and they sell them to the UK, so which is really good. So I definitely recommend checking them out. So I've just unboxed this box, shall we say? Oh, fantastic. She looks absolutely fantastic. So it is a she, um, and this is the Funko Pop, what my wife bought. It is the 10 inch Ursula, folks. It is the 10 inch Ursula. It's the glow in the dark from the Little Mermaid itself. Fantastic, absolutely looks brilliant. It's really, really heavy as well, just like the Dobby. And it looks absolutely epic. Now, like I said, my wife don't buy Funko Pops, so I'm really surprised when she bought this. And I think this is one of the best 10 inch Pops Funko has ever made. What do you all think? And um, like I said, this is my own opinion, so please don't slate me, but, um, yeah, it's not a Buzz Lightyear metallic, like I said, but it's still a really, really, really good 10 inch pop. So on the back of the pop box, box itself, shall we say, you can get Ariel, well, yeah, two Ariels, Prince Eric, Scuttle, Chef uh, Louis, I think it is, Ursula and Ursula 10 inch. 10 inch pop is this one here. Um, this is the 569 uh, Funko Pop in this range. And yeah, let's crack open this. It says glow in the dark. I have no idea which part of her body glows in the dark. Let's get this out of the box. Now, 10 inch pops to me, I don't really like 10 inch pops because they're so big. They are huge, it takes so much space up. So I haven't got many 10 inch pops, um, but the one I have got is the Dobby, uh, which everyone comments about. I think it's a great pop myself. Oh, wow. Wow, we look at this pop. Damn. Damn, it's really heavy, first of all, before I start. It's a chunky looking pop. Now, look at this. This is an epic pop. What do you all think of her? Now, there is going to be a new movie coming out of um, The Little Mermaid, which I think Melissa McCarthy is going to be playing Ursula. I think there's a rumor, um, which is going to be pretty good. And, uh, but about this pop, um, she's got like a, I don't know what you call it. Is it like a staff or something in her hand? I'm not too sure, but look at her, her grin is massive. Great. 
and her crown on her head, amazing hairstyle. Look at her hair, looks like my wife's hair. It's amazing. And look at her tentacles. They're awesome, absolutely amazing. Her dress is awesome, she's got a huge ass. I mean, look at the size of that, oh, damn. Um, and yeah, this looks really, really good. This is, like I said, this is a, a really good, common, shall we say, 10 inch pop. Um, it, it looks awesome. I really like it. What do you all think of this? I mean, is this a pop you want to get in your collection? Because I think it's a really good pop. Her head moves around, of course, but doesn't go all the way. But look at her ass. That is one chunky ass. Really, really, really cool pop. So if you had a choice of a 10 inch pop, which one would you buy? Because of course I would buy the metallic Buzz Lightyear and stuff like that. But they go for big bucks. I mean like a thousand pound onwards. So for 30 pounds, I think this is probably, like I said before, one of the best common 10 inch pops out there at the moment. What do you all think? What do you all think? So like I said, this is the pop I got today from Double Box Toys when my wife did. Um, it cost about £35. Um, highly recommend checking out Double Box Toys if you haven't already. If you are new to my channel, please remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you want to, and just leave a comment below what your best 10 inch pop is. What do you think of this Pavanka pop? And we go from there. Anyway, folks, that is it for me today. I hope you all have a good day. I hope you all have a good night. And bye bye. How far can we get if we sell?